This is the true story of Cinderella. Cinderella has been working all day doing her chores for her evil stepmother. She dreams of going to the ball at Prince Charming's castle, but she knows there's no way she'll ever be able to get all of her chores done in time, and she knows she'll never be allowed to go. After watching Cinderella struggle to finish her chores, her mice friends jump to the rescue and help in every way they can. Now that she's done with her chores, she decides to sneak out and go to the ball, but sadly, she realizes she has nothing to wear. All of a sudden, a majestic looking woman appears in Cinderella's room. She says, leave it to me. Something simple, but something nice. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Cinderella is dressed transformed into a beautiful ball gown, guaranteed to impress the prince. Now she just needs the finishing touch. The fairy godmother gives Cinderella the most beautiful pair of glass slippers she has ever seen. Now she's ready for the ball. At the ball, Cinderella dances all night long with many handsome men. And on the other side of the room, the prince has been dancing with women all night long, but hasn't found anyone worth his time. All of a sudden, from across the room, he locks eyes with the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. All I can say is it was enchanting to me. You. They walk to each other and begin to dance. It's the most romantic dance, and the connection is undeniable. Your eyes whispered, have we met? Across the room, your silhouette starts to make its way to me. As the song ends, the prince is about to ask Cinderella for her name and number, when all of a sudden the clock strikes midnight. Cinderella rushes towards the door without saying a word. As she runs down the steps, she trips over her dress and tumbles to the ground. Little did she know that as she fell, her leg buckled underneath her, causing her knee to collapse inward and externally rotate. Prince Charming rushes to her aid and they rush to the hospital. Cinderella finds out that she had just torn her anterior cruciate ligament and will need surgery to correct this. After waking up from her surgery, on top of being a broken woman, Cinderella is faced by her evil stepmother who tells her that as soon as she's better, she is housebound for the rest of her life and will be doing nothing but chores as a punishment for sneaking out of the house. Cinderella is informed she will need physical therapy for her knee. However, Faced with her evil stepmother's looming punishment, she has no desire to get better at all. At first, she refuses to go to physical therapy and even misses her first appointment. Her knee is painful and she is ex has extremely limited range of motion. Prince Charming comes to visit the next day and she tells him of her dilemma. He knows how important physical therapy is and he wants to help motivate her. He tells her that if she goes to PT and gets her strength and prior level of function back, she can escape her evil stepmother once and for all and the two of them will run away together. This is Cinderella's dream come true because even though she just met the prince two days ago, she is certain that he is her destiny. The prince encourages her to go to all of her therapy sessions and to do all of her home exercises. Her physical therapist is thrilled to see this because she knows that a strong support system can really help increase patient outcomes. It wasn't an easy road, but Cinderella pushed through countless days of balance, strength, and range of motion exercises. After six months of intense therapy, Cinderella has finally reached her goal of being able to run again. On the day she is discharged, Prince Charming says he will meet her at midnight when the rest of the house is asleep. He tells Cinderella to sneak outside and wait for him. She makes sure to bring her TheraBand in case of emergency. Once outside, the beautiful, enchanting, and totally ladylike Cinderella and the prince run away and live happily ever after.